Appreciation is what turns around depreciation. When you start to lack appreciation, you suffer depreciation. We saw the story of Herod, who thought he had everything. He raised people, he mobilized people that when he starts speaking, they should start clapping. In Acts chapter 12, verses 21 to 23, he already rehearsed it. And upon the said day, arrayed in royal apparel, he set upon himself, he set his throne and made an oration unto them. And verse 22, and the people gave a shout. Beware of applause of men. When people say, oh, things are working for you, quickly stop them. Not in uh, harassing them or disregard for them, but quickly inject, God is a doer. They say it is the voice of a God and not of man. And God heard. And immediately, immediately, God does not delay the punishment of ingratitude. Immediately, the angel of the Lord smote him. Because he gave not God the glory. He took the glory. Say with me, I will not take the glory. <laughs> Say it again, I will not take the glory. <laughs> and he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. Taking God's glory is poisonous. Don't try it. It's cancerous. Instant cancer came upon him. He lost his life for it. Give God glory. He will secure your blessing. Take his glory, it will cause your blessing. Don't try it. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 10, we heard how people were destroyed for their murmuring. If you go to Numbers chapter 16, where that reference came from, from verses 1 to 49, 14,700 people were destroyed in one day. 14,700 for murmuring. What is a murmuring? It's an insult to God. Murmuring is an insult to God. Murmuring is like God has done 99%, only 1% remains, and you are blaming him. Look at it. What has God not done for this commission? What has he not done? What has he not done? Growth, expansion, global impact. More teachers of souls getting saved every day. We have never lacked testimony on this altar. And in all of our altars, the oil has not dried. What has he not done? Provision, fulfillment of prophecy. Everything spoken has come to pass. And somebody somewhere murmuring. It's an insult on God. I hear some people say there is nothing to show. God kept you alive. That's why you're complaining. Can the dead complain? Nothing will depreciate in your life again. By this world, the spirit of murmuring is terminated in our lives. When we are committed to thanking God for what he has done, we have committed him to do more. You don't need to beg God. Oh God, be committed to me. Get committed to thanking him and he will get committed to blessing you. They were praising God in the first church. Acts chapter 2 verse 47. They were just praising God. Uh, what have we done to see all these things, oh God? You didn't even wait for us to ask for it. And God said, is that so? Then I will add to you more. He was adding to the church daily such as should be saved. A pastor met me some weeks back. He said, there is nothing we have not been doing. Signs and wonders happen in our church. Everything just happened. But people don't stay. People don't stay. And I asked him, have you thanked God? Ah, he said, you have finished me. This is where my problem is. We don't thank God at all. God save one soul can you save him no 
When I see three people saved, I say, Father, thank you for these multitudes of souls saved. Because I couldn't save any. One pastor was making a report some years back. And he said, God added to us this month. Slightly. Slightly. How many of you was he calling slightly? About 18 people. I, I said, what you have done, what you have said is enough to sack you. You are slighting God by calling his works slight. He has done so much for me. So much. I can't thank him enough. So much for you. So much for us as a commission. Somebody wave your hand and say, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Ten lepers came to Jesus. Others were used to it. Jesus said, this one person came back, a Samaritan. A Samaritan is a stranger. You must have a perspective that everything God does to you is strange. He said, I will do a strange work. So every work of God in your life is strange. Don't be too familiar to it. Denying were familiar. They were, no, what is it? Moses told us that when we are healed of leprosy, we should go to the priest. Oh, there's no big deal about it. One of them say, I never see this kind before. Me, oh, I never see this kind before. And they say, so what do you mean? He said, I must go back. He said, okay, when you get there, greet him for us. I must go back. When he saw, when he saw, people don't thank God because they don't see what he has done. They don't look well. They don't examine their lives. They don't reflect where they were and where they are sleeping under the bridge before. Now, with your brain sleeping in two-bedroom flat and you are complaining, I want to be like my friends. They are in a banana island and uh, lowland everywhere. <laughs> we must keep thanking him. Remembering to thank God for what he has done is simply reminding him to attend to what remains. If you don't thank him, your case will be on pending file. Pending file. What moves your file from in to out is thanksgiving. Your prayer remains pending, no matter how intercessory spirit you have. It will remain pending until you move it with thanksgiving to out. Keep thanking him. He knows what to do. If you read from Psalm 78, verses 11, 17 to 19, 21 and 22, and Psalm 106, verses 13, 21 to 27, the only problem they have is forgetfulness. They forgot. They forgot his works. They forgot. You can't complain when you remember. They forgot what he did before. They doubted him. You see, forgetfulness is the root of doubt. Remembrance is the root of faith. David remembered how God used him to kill the lion. Faith rose. Forgetfulness is the reason why many people are doubting God. They forgot what he did yesterday. So get back home, everybody, today. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. And how do you not forget it? Recalling it, writing it down. Write Thanksgiving items the way you write prayer requests. You will see the wonders it will do in your life. You will see the wonders it will do in your life. Alright, that was a very powerful video by Bishop David Abioye. You are welcome to the commentary section of this video where we always make um, analysis, commentary about what the preacher was talking about in the video. So, um, in our series we've been talking about Thanksgiving lately and I decided to share this powerful teaching by Bishop David Abbey and if you listen to what he said closely he was talking about um, not taking the glory of God it's very important that as a, as a believer 
you should always return all the glory to God. Man does not deserve the glory God deserves because not everything um, God has given into uh, or into us. And it's not everything that we can handle. There are certain things beyond our power that we have no option not to give God praise. So it's very important that whenever you see uh, the doing of God, whenever you see anything very tangible, whenever you see even as little, little as it is, it is very important that you give thanks to the Lord, you give thanks unto the Lord, because he made something that um, very profound. He said that uh, you are you are complaining to God that things are not working. It is because you are alive, that's why you are complaining. So, what does that simply mean? It simply means that any man who is alive should give God thanks. Firstly, for the gift of life. First, secondly, for good health. And also, when you start giving God thanks, he will start, he would make provisions to supply all your needs. Now, uh, I said some time ago that if you are not thankful, then you are a proud person. You are proud because Thanksgiving should be the lifestyle of every believer. Thanksgiving should be the lifestyle every believer should um, should uh, make a lifestyle. It should be what every believer should transcend into different generations from time to time. So it's very important that as you keep thanking God, you will see His hand um, coming true in your life in the name of Jesus. I'm sure you are blessed by that video. I would always tell you to please go back watch the video again and um, you will be blessed because there are sometimes things you might have not listened to just take your time listen to it again pray as you listen and you'll be blessed in jesus name i'm sure you're blessed by that video please like our video so that god can suggest to that person subscribe if you are blessed comment so we can follow up god bless you remember and have a great time